Spears and Chris, we've been talking about the flooding and the chance for more rain. What's the timeline on this? Well, it's later into the afternoon. I would say after three o'clock and as late as eight or nine o'clock tonight. That's kind of the window. Yesterday we saw the issues up in Larimer County right before five o'clock uh, in the afternoon. We're in the 80s for the most part on the eastern plains and western slope, knocking on the door to 90 in Akron at DIA and over in Grand Junction. High country varies a little bit. We range from 69 in Leadville over 10,000 feet to 86 in Rifle and 80 in Aspen. 82, our weather watcher Michael McCall on Lookout Mountain and a little further west and higher up in Como, 77 degrees from our weather watcher Kimberly. A couple of things to note. Wind, that's a big factor this time of the year and you notice the speeds are overall pretty light. A little bit of wind over here on the far eastern plains, but the rest of the state pretty low numbers and that is why thunderstorms move so slowly this time of the year and the flash flood threat goes up but also the dew point and uh, this is a great weather variable. It tells us amount of moisture in the air 40 and up for this part of the country and this altitude is a pretty high number and you see a lot of 50s on this map, even a 61 in Greeley. Bottom line, there is plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. It comes from way down here in the tropics all the way up into Colorado. That is the monsoon or the seasonal reverse in the wind that transports moisture into our state. Then you add in our daytime heating and the terrain and presto showers and thunderstorms after 12 o'clock. We already have some popping here in the San Juan Mountains. There is a flash flood watch for this part of the state. Also seeing a few showers developing along the continental divide here in north central Colorado. One really close to Grand Lake and Estes Park. Let's fly around and look at the flash flood watches. All of the San Juan Mountains, parts of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, even some of the wet mountains under the watch. Front Range Mountains also in this flash flood watch as well, and that does include part of Grand County. Here's future cast. Over the next few hours, we'll see thunderstorms blossom. They will slowly pull to the east and southeast. That slow movement is why the flash flood threat is so enhanced. Some of this will get into the urban corridor and some of these storms will last well into the evening. A 40% chance we could get one here in Denver. We should hit the low 90s tonight in the 60s, partly cloudy and quiet. Statewide 90s east and west, a lot of 80s in Colorado's high country for this Wednesday. And I want to remind you, we still have reduced air quality in the urban corridor for high levels of ozone and in Route County for wildfire smoke. Here's Denver's five day forecast. It's a pretty typical one for mid to late July. We're running just at and a little above normal on most days. McKenzie, that means in Denver, you can expect your thermometer to hit the low 90s each day. We start off in the 60s and we have those daily chances for storms. It's a particularly high one with that flash flooding threat for today. Right, and of course we'll stay on top of that. And it looks like we also need to uh, get used to the heat, Chris. Uh, it's here to stay. All right, thanks so much.